Adrian, you must be absolutely delighted to finish second in the end. Yeah, it's been a, a long time coming, but we finally got there and uh, really pleased for the group. They've worked pretty hard and with all the challenges during the year and, and injuries and uh, the way that they've hung in there together and, and got through, you know, probably the most important part and, and now in a good position to, to give ourselves a chance to, to take the next step. 1-11 of the last 12. Yeah, yeah, um, it's, it's, it's a bit of a weird one because about a third of the way through the season I made a decision not to look at the table because we weren't sitting too good and, and all it was doing was stressing me out. So I thought, right, from now on in I'm not going to do it. So about four weeks ago someone mentioned that we're a chance of finishing second. I was like, really? <laughs> so, um, you know, as I said, the, the group's worked really hard. There's a lot of confidence in, in the team at the moment and uh, we've got a home semi against Sop, which will be really tough, but looking forward to it. Um, did you imagine finish second with second at all? I mean, the start was, what, one win in seven, wasn't it? Yeah, I, I guess the goal was to make the semi-finals, considering the, you know, the players that we'd lost at the end of last year. And when, you, when you win Super League here, uh, obviously you go in the next year as, as one of the favourites, but when you lose Bateman and Tompkins and, and, uh, and Sutton, and then Liam Farrell going in round two of the season for half the year, it was, it was a, a pretty difficult challenge, to be fair. And, uh, you know, then we had a lot of injuries, and even last week we still had 10 players that couldn't be selected. So... You know, really proud of how they've turned the season around. Uh, really proud of our youth that have come through through our academy, and, and they've certainly made a difference to the whole group together. And um, we're starting to get some players, injured players, back now at the right time of the season. So uh, things are looking positive. Finishing second, yeah, at home. You get that extra life as well. Are you even thinking about that extra life? Uh, not really. I've just. It's just business as usual, to be honest. You know, and just challenging the group to to step up another gear go to the next level and, and the great thing about Wigan is, is that we've got some experienced players in there that have done it a long uh, you know a lot of times and um, there's as I mentioned earlier there, there is some youth coming through there but to be surrounded by that the experience is, is handy and you know hopefully they learn as much as they possibly can over the next month so what were you saying to them before Friday night just go and do it yeah look I, I think um, you know we've our standards that we've set in our grand final actions that we requested and you know, I, th I think that the team's focused about what, what we're in control of. Um, we've earned that right to, to, for the home ground advantage, but you know, it's, it's not a given. So we just need to make sure that we have the right attitude against a, a confident side of the team that are going to come here, have won eight of their last uh, eight matches. So you know, they're doing some things, some, some things great there, so it's going to be a pretty tough challenge, but you know, looking forward to it. I know obviously you only want to look ahead to Friday night, but if you were to do it and get to the grand final, what would that mean after the roller coaster of a season you've had? Yeah, it'd be pretty special for the whole whole group. It's it's something that Wigan haven't done in Super League history. He's gone back to back um, in the NRL in Australia. I think it's 25 years that they haven't gone back to back. So it's a hard thing to do. You know, history will show that um, you you won't get too many opportunities like this. So you know, we've got a lot of work still to do. Um, you know start of the year there was a lot of people talking about this being a transition year for the players and I remember saying in an interview that you know how do you tell the Thomas Lillawise and the Sean O'Loughlin's that could be their last year that this is a transition year so um, you know I, I feel that, that you know Sean played last week which is great you know back in the team Ben Flower back in the team so you know we're, we're in good shape leading into these uh, into these finals. Well the best of luck for the playoffs. Thank you very much.